So this is the fight that happened when Lau was still in Casper. So I'm late and get into this video. But it happened when she was in Casper. It was the same night that she was streaming with that stupid red, red filter from her IG. So this is the fight that happened before that fight, I guess, in the same night. And I got this from uh, Too High For Stupid. I'll be linking the, this video in the description below. But here, this is what happened. And I also cut this short. Yeah. But it was no problem for you. Yeah. That's just it key. was the same. It was no problem for you earlier when I was trying to talk to you in a normal voice and you were screaming over. You don't want to talk to me. I don't want to lose my shit. Now you want to see your voice. I'm all caught in the collective. And you're the one that's crazy. But you're the one that's doing it. Fuck you. What, what did I do? Did oh, God. Did I throw alcohol <laughs> on you? I did not throw alcohol. It wasn't a shot. It wasn't a shot, though. It wasn't a shot. Yeah. It wasn't a shot. Yeah. It wasn't a shot, though. It wasn't. He's fighting, so. It wasn't a shot. It wasn't a shot, though, because it wouldn't have gotten all over me. It wouldn't have got. It wouldn't have gone all over me. Fuck you. It wouldn't have gotten all over you. How am I supposed to know that throwing alcohol on me is Fuck a flirt? Fuck you. Fuck you, you lying manipulative fucking cunt. What am I lying What am I lying about? You won't take responsibility for it, so we should What? Because I was, I, I was at. Stupid. I can't do anything more. Because I was asking a... Why is it... Because I was asking... Because I was asking... Because I was asking... Because I was asking... I was asking a question about the movie? God, she's like a... Question, and you threw your drink on me. How am I a narcissist? <laughs> it wasn't spilling it. You threw... You threw... I would have poured the drink on myself. You threw it on me. It was. Ah! But he did. Driving that's, the, no, it's yeah. true, though. He did. He did. Jeez. And that is. He is. In his mind, it's like, look, I was just trying to be flirty. And she's like, yo, you did do this. Like, it's, I don't even know. They, they're He's arguing about something pointless. It's not about the drink anymore. It's about her as a person. And she can't fucking get that through her head. He's like, you're a manipulative, narcissistic piece of shit. And she's like, how when you spilt your drink on me? It's like, just because he spilt his drink on you doesn't make you a non-manipulative, narcissist piece of shit. That's like her only defense. You're at, you're at his house. He's screaming like this. He's a highly autistic guy. Just get the fuck mm -hmm. out of there at that point. Just pack your shit and go. Get the fuck out. What are you... The fact that you keep sitting here, you're 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 recording all this. Like instead of just fucking leaving, like, uh, again, it just it just seems so. Like you said, counterproductive. Really, this yeah, is yeah, it is. It's all for attention, like you said. Like there's a reason she's staying there and recording this rather than just getting up and fucking leaving. Yeah, she could leave. She could very well leave. But you're you're right. It's all for the purpose of getting dirt on him. And this is low-key what i've been waiting for because i knew their relationship would end and she would just start going crazy with it like i left that little bit of a clip in there from cj 5000 um they made such a great point like they articulated it really really well and i've been thinking the same thing like jessica knows she doesn't love josh she likes what being of josh that's for her. She gets all the attention she needs. And she's not smart enough to translate that into money yet. But she definitely loves the attention. And it's also a way to punish Josh for not wanting to be with her. Because it's like, what's the reason of recording these fights? It makes no sense. Maybe what do you mean? I have never shown you four different 
I'm gonna fucking say that. You put me in a boy who wants to fucking choke your ass. You stupid put back under your little spell and he's waking back up from it. We're we're hearing it in real time where he's like It's the fucking thanks I get You know <laughs> It's uh you're watching the magic work off, the gaslighting actively work off, and she don't like it, she's trying to reapply it. Why is it you can say everything that I've done in my life? Why is it you can say everything that I've done in my life? But he can literally admit to putting alcohol on me. I told you. I said it was that. It's playful. I was trying to fucking pour alcohol on you. I was just throwing a few more dishes. And if you go back in the earlier clip, just to confirm that he did put his hands on her and now my question is Jessica had people that bought a hotel room correct and they were willing she made a phone call to the guy Chris after this happened and he offered for her to go to the hotel why didn't she leave why did she insist on staying there that's the part I'm scratching my head and do not get me wrong, I am not defending Josh by any means. He has done some vile things. But Jessica also did not have to be there. She could have easily removed herself from the situation. That's a part that really, really baffles me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kiwi, you, you wanna <laughs> no, do you, not you, dirty you walk off for a bowl like this off? No, Jesus Christ. Look, I pulled my dick out because I fought it would be. <laughs> what, what, what? Yes, I did, I did. I said, you don't want to fuck you did it. I said, do not come no. on me. <laughs> you don't want to fuck you did it. You died, I was sitting at the table. You don't want to fuck you did it. saying TX2 died. Oh no, yeah, I saw that. TX2 is dead, oh no. When I was sitting on the couch with you. No, you What, what did I do? You're not listening to me now. Joshy, why is yeah, she's got some nerve for that? His defense is he's trying to be cute. Back to this again. This fight is really not about the stupid movie Tombstone. In Jessica's end, she might look at it that he got upset because she's asking too many questions and that he threw a drink on her on a brand new Jeffree Star t-shirt because you know how she is of Jeffree Star. To her is that shallow of an argument. But listening to Josh, to me his argument, he's angry at her. It's deeper than that. I think there's a lot of stuff that happened in the background that we were not aware of. And plus her getting him kicked out of, out of his apartment. And instead of just walking away, she already has him overstimulated. 
And it's like, girl, just leave. Why did you keep on staying? Like, I don't understand it. They asking me questions about the movie all night. They're asking me for asking one last question. We asked the things on me. I don't know why you're doing this to me. From experience, when somebody gets that quiet, that deafening silence during an argument, and I'm one of these people, run, do not even try to continue the argument, or the, just go, leave, you know what I mean? And she, she lives for this shit, I swear to God, she lives for this shit, I don't understand it. I told you the second time I visited, if we ever watched it, one, I'm not a big movie person, two, I've never seen a Western, and three, no, I'm not a big movie person, but why the fuck they can't have a lot of them take a third place? Because I fucking care about your interest! It doesn't care about my interest, who would make this for a fight, the hard fucking fight! How can I make your fight by asking a question? Because I saw the first was not. Yeah, the neighbor is going to knock on the door soon and be like, yeah, I couldn't help but overhear that the fighting over here hasn't progressed into violence yet. Yeah, I'm going to hand, you guys, some, I'm just gonna some hand you guys some liquor. Like, let's just, let's, let's get this rolling. I was going to say, like, that must mean y'all still have some meth up in here. The fighting <laughs> hasn't escalated to a point of violence, so you all have to have some crystal, and you ain't going to hold out on old Bubba John. I love that part of the commentary in the little banter because it made me laugh and kind of like letting up the mo, the load of this conversation because this is a lot. It's, uh, they need to stay away from each other. Like for real, for real, these two should not be in the same vicinity. They need to stay away from each other. Josh, I put my shirt on. No, the fuck did not. Josh, no, the fuck did not. I put my shirt on. No, the fuck did not. But I did. No, the monkey's on. I did. I said, this large. What would be large? What would be off? How am I harassing you when I'm trying to tell you that I put my Jeffrey Starcher on the front of you? And I go, they really don't shit what I didn't do. Perfect. It's not so better in the end. It's like, that's how long it's been. It's like, you work. I'm not stupid. First of all, I'm not a monkey's head. Bullshit. They hit the second TX. No, I'm not a narcissist. I literally sat at your table during a crossword for four hours being as quiet as I possibly could. So I'm not get a hold of the other line. I take a shower. I put on a brand new fucking outfit. I told you. I said, I finally got my large Jeffree Star shirt instead of the extra large. Look how it fits me. And you both stick out. Yes, I jacked it off. And I told you, please, whatever you do, don't get it on me. Just a little bit on me. I wiped it off. I said, please don't get it out because this is going to be my fucking outfit for tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I did it. <laughs> yes, I did it. I did it. I had no reason to be mad at you. I told you. I told you that, and then we sat down, and I fucking watched the movie, and I'm asking you questions. And I told you that from the second visit that I'm going to ask questions about this. No, just because I'm not a movie person doesn't mean I don't like movies. It's just I don't fucking care to watch every single movie out there. Yes, there are few and far between that I do like. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm not. I told you before I watched this, I said, why is it that you can say whatever you want and whatever you want? What if they keep doing this? I'm going to explain myself. I'll be at home with my I'll be at home. Where do I call Where do I say any of this? I don't have to say it. It wasn't a half shot. 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 It wasn't a half shot.
That's pretty much how that argument went. They just went around in circles for like 40 minutes. And one thing I noticed is that Jessica has to be right. Right or wrong. Whether she's right or wrong, she always has to be right. And she must, she must have the last word in everything. It's, I couldn't do it. I really, really could not do it. But anyways, that's it for this one, you guys.